Hey, what's up guys? It's Zyborn Scheller, and today I'll be doing a commentary on this gameplay video that I did a few hours ago, so let's get to it. As you can tell by my voice, I am kind of excited about this um, gameplay video because it was pretty awesome. I got a few awesome kills and a few badass moments, you know, battlefield moments, so... Uh, but uh, I'm going to have to put my excitement aside for a little bit because I have a lot to talk about, so I got to get to it right away, so... Um, a lot of Battlefield 3 news to get to get through, so uh, let's get to it. The first news story that we have is Battlefield 3 sold more than 3.5 million copies in its first week. So that by far sur surprises any other Battlefield title so far. And uh, let me read you the quote real quick. It says Battlefield 3 has managed 3.5 million at retail with a further 500,000 estimated for digital PC sales meaning it could pass 4 million in its first week up uh, noticeably over DICE's last F4 Battlefield Back of the 2 which only got 1.5 million so um, by far a huge success and I'm glad because that means that the Battlefield series is strong and we'll probably get uh, more content down the line for Battlefield 3 and of course more titles in the future which awesome and then the next two stories about <coughs> excuse me is about the um, well let's let me read you the title just uh, a scar to be nerfed interim solutions for rubber banding hardcore servers added and a few more things so the first thing is hardcore mode the code says uh, new battlefield 3 hardcore servers were added and they're still listening to um, listening to the uh, community and that they'll be uh, bringing more servers online so uh, if you're a hardcore uh, <coughs> a hardcore fan, uh, look out for uh, more servers to be added in the future. And I think there's some um, already up. I haven't checked yet, but uh, you can look around and see if you can find a, a hardcore server. And the next um, piece of this new story is about the cheaters. And the quote says, uh, there's a few quotes regarding this. Uh, the first one says, uh, online play is the core of Battlefield 3 and cheating will not be tolerated. We are working to remove cheaters and their cheats. The next quote says, Please rest assured that we have a dedicated team actively seeking those users. And lastly, they say, Don't worry, might not get them now or in a few days, but uh, cheaters and stat patterns will have their accounts deleted or stats reset. So if you're a cheater, you know, or a hacker or whatever out there, you know, be warned, dice will get you sooner rather than later. So, um, and of course, if you're one of those stat whores, you know, you're probably going to get reset. So. Just don't do that, you know. I mean, uh, I uh, uploaded a video from the Battlefield 3 beta to show that the hacker, you know, just killing every single one of my teammates just with a single C4, you know, uh, explosion. And that was just so not cool. It was, just, it was terrible. It ruined an amazing, like, uh, potentially amazing game. But, uh, just by doing that, he just kind of ruined all that. So, uh, you know, don't be an asshole and don't ruin everybody's fun. So, uh, that's that. <coughs> and the next uh, section of this new story is about some nerfs that they're going to do to some weapons. The quote says, uh, There's some general air balance to explain. So, I guess, uh, I guess that's for maybe some of the vehicles, perhaps. I'm not quite sure why it says air balance. So, uh, and uh, regarding the Scar H, some people have been saying that it's a little bit overpowered. So um, the seven point, it says, the quote says, uh, the 7.62 millimeter rifles will lose a bit of it of power up close. So um, I guess if you're a discouraged uh, user, kind of bad news for you. But uh, you know, if something is too overpowered, it's going to be nerfed down or you know, balanced in some way. So good news, I guess. And the next one is regarding uh, lag and rubber, rubber bending. So um, the quote says, uh, the DICE team is working around the clock to improve the lag and rubber banding some users are encountering. To help mitigate it in, in, the room, in the interim, please connect to servers near you by setting your filter to sort by ping and selecting the lowest pinging server. Also for PC users, please make sure you don't have any programs running in the background that require internet connection or streaming data. So um, again, turn off you know, all those programs that are be using your internet connection in some way, which I, I always do before I start playing Battlefield 3 on my PC, and still I get a lot of rubber banding. Like it is just so annoying to just get that rubber band feeling when you're 
running around the battlefield. It's just terrible. I hope they fix that soon. And I'm glad that they're actually listening to the to the community. The, you know, we're having a lot of issues about uh, rubber, rubber banding. So. And the next piece of this news story is about uh, the DLC Physical Warfare Pack. And the quote says, uh, if you're having an issue with the Physical Warfare Pack, uh, this is uh, uh, with, uh, physical Warfare Pack, please visit ES Help Center and select to talk to our game advisor. So, uh, I guess just go for uh, a uh, go to their uh, help center and ask to talk to a live uh, a live uh, rep so they can help you out with the uh, Physical Warfare Pack. And let's see, the, uh, and that's pretty much all I got. Oh, wait, never mind, there's just a second piece to this. Uh, this new story, which is about a battle blog, there's some problems, I guess, with it. Some people are experiencing. And the quote says, uh, "Sometimes if you play multiplayer for a while and then come back, it will log you out, I guess, and so you have to log back in. So, if, you know, for whatever reason that happens, you just you know, log back in. And uh, on Origin, there's a, there appears to be another problem as well, which." Uh, the code says, uh, if you're receiving an error starting, you need to reinstall, please try right-clicking the title and selecting repair. So if you're experiencing that that particular problem, you know, try right-clicking on Battlefield 3 and click repair after that. So that's that new story. And the next one is about Battlefield 3 server update uh, details. And I kind of failed there. I probably should have gone a little higher. But uh, anyway, go back to the news. And there's a lot of uh, fixes coming up for the servers. The first one it says, fix for crashes usually occurring during level switches. Server providers may see a little bit of memory leakage instead of in this situation. The next one says, uh, game servers should no longer quit in some situations where the online back backend servers are down. Server will reconnect to the backend once it's up again. And the next fix is, it says, fix for ghost service which didn't accept connections. And the next one is, kick reasons should better match situations where they are issue. This will help battle like provide more accurate information to the player. And that's it. And uh, the next one is, says, uh, connection fixes to avoid players sometimes being rejected while joining the game server. One of the last slots, so, like sometimes the server says, you know, Hey, we have a slot left, you know, come join us, and then you join and nothing happens, so that kind of stuff that happens. And uh, next two are pretty broad, which is to just say security updates and uh, improved server logging, so, um, you know, I hope they actually uh, crack down on those uh, cheaters, like uh, I said previously, so. <coughs> and finally, the last news story that I got for you guys today uh, is about uh, Battlefield 3 possibly coming to Steam. So, and to get a, a few more evidence that support this claim, and which is a um, punk buster originally got an update. I think I should go, I should go update uh, my punk buster claim, I guess. And uh, yeah, let me read, read you, you, excuse me, let me read you the quote, which is uh, the new evidence comes from the latest punk buster, punk buster update, which includes a new install directory at C. Program files, x86, Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Battlefield 3, in addition to the origin install directory. So, uh, maybe Battlefield 3 is finally coming to Steam after all. You know, that'd be great because a lot of people use Steam. I mean, I'm not a big Steam user, mainly because uh, I just like to have my uh, games, uh, you know, with their original you know, cases and stuff. But, uh, I'm not that into digital stuff just yet, so I guess I'm old school in that regard. <laughs> but uh, you know, great news for people that use Steam all the time. So, and that's that. And I think that's all I got for you, for you guys today regarding Battlefield 3 news. So um, I guess I'll just comment on the uh, <coughs> on the gameplay itself. And right now, I I don't even think I introduced what the hell I was playing or what I was using. So. Uh, Again, I'm playing Battlefield 3, you know, duh, and Caspian Border, Conquest, and we are winning right now, 206 to 129, and I'm using the A91 with the PKA 3.4 zoom up the scope, the laser sight, and I think the focus, 
And right there, I get a few more kills. I'm trying to get deep, but I think I end up getting killed because there were just so many guys for to handle. I get this guy, and I know to get the other guy that was right behind me. But after that, there were just way too many guys rushing me, so. Kinda. I almost got that guy, and of course he had spawn protection, or I think my bullets just completely missed him. Because, uh, I don't think there's a lot of. Uh, spawn protection when you spawn on a teammate, so I'm pretty sure my bullets just completely missed him, so that was a bit of a shame. There were just way too many guys for me to uh, handle on my own, so that was a bit of a shame. And I joined over here, where I spawned rather, on A, on the antenna. And uh, I think I promised somebody way back on the during the beta that I would uh, attempt to destroy the uh, tower by placing C4 on all these supporting beams or whatever the hell there are and try to bring down the thing but uh, I'll probably have to try that once I actually get the C4 because I have no play support at all so I don't have I don't have the C4 you know required to do the upgrade so um, hopefully I'll, I'll get to it you know in the next uh, Maybe this week, maybe I'll try to get the C4 and attempt to do this in fashion order because uh, I have no idea if it's actually possible to bring down the uh, the whole tower and you know make this big destruction because this tower is just really big, a few hundred feet or maybe meters actually, a few hundred meters. So um, it'd be amazing to actually see this thing come down and uh, <laughs> kill up. <coughs> Excuse me, and uh, kill um, a few guys because uh, you know, I just landed on the head or something. So that'd be great. And uh, I'll try to do that. So, you know, but I'm not making any promises just yet. But uh, hopefully, look for that in the future. So. And uh, was, I was able to take a bad tank right there. I'm to take the second one by myself, which uh, my teammate helped me out with. So, you know, always try to. Try to help your team, you know, the way you can. And of course, that guy helped me, so I was glad that he did that. So. And right now we have two of the uh, flags locked down. But uh, here we go. This is the moment that I was waiting for. That I was like, oh crap, am I might be able to do this. And uh, yeah, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god, that was fucking awesome, and uh, it kind of was pretty awesome, so um, I am really glad I actually got that in the, and you know, I got that recorded, so that was pretty awesome, I think that's my second holy crap moment, because uh, I actually was able to take down like, another chapter with a, with a non-guided uh, RPG, I think it was in Damavon Peak, uh, where a, a helicopter was... Uh, Covering a little dent on the on the ground, and I was able to shoot it down with an uh, unguided RPG. I think I used the I used the small rocket, so uh, it was just just like the one that I did uh, just now. So um, it's just awesome when it happens. Like he just totally put like, the rush of, oh my god, I just did that, you know. <laughs> and I just love that from Battlefield because uh, random stuff happens all the time, you know. And it's just awesome when it happens. So yeah. Of course, I go up to this rock, and in a second, I'm gonna get knife from the back. Just giving you a heads up. And I don't know what the hell is up. I probably should have seen that guy coming behind me, actually. But uh, I don't know what the hell is up with people always finding me when I'm kind of hiding and knifing me in the back. Like, this has happened to me like three times. It happens twice in this map, actually. Or I think it might be the next game, actually. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I don't even know why that happens. I think I just had bad luck with hiding spots. Like, I'll try to hide somewhere. Next thing I know, I have a freaking knife, you know, down my throat. So, <laughs> bad luck, I'm guessing, or I don't know. But uh, that happened to me a few times, so I'm kind of pissed off about that. Uh, and see, that team was just waiting there for me to get on because he kind of saw me coming, rushing towards the tank to help him. And I just love that he just stopped and waited for me to get on. You know. Teamwork, guys. This is Battlefield. Teamwork is the name of the game. So. And of course, I get out and he kind of runs up. So, and, uh, okay, team. Okay, you know, after that, so. at least he showed goodwill to actually get me 
you know, going into his uh, tank. But uh, the game pretty much ended at that point, so it didn't really matter. It was a uh, 121 to 5, so and those three kills go by really quickly, so the game was basically over. And there we go. <coughs> And uh, of course we won, which uh, was pretty much clear from the beginning. I ended up going 9 and 5, which uh, was pretty good, given that I was doing a lot of teamwork. Help, you know, helping my teammate out, trying to win. So, And I was glad I was actually able to get a few points with the Jets, because uh, I, I really need those um, heat-seeking miss missiles. So um, hopefully I'll get those soon. But anyway, guys, if you just comment on the video, rate it, and subscribe to my channel, that'd be great. So I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.